Take a look at this listing, almost $18,000. But in this video, we are going to talk about bolos that are going to, they're going to knock your socks off. I mean, there is one thing that sold for almost $18,000. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, if you have been here for like ever on my channel, you know that this is old school. I used to sit on my couch and record just like this. And I was like, you know what? I'm bringing it back today. So super cool. I want to introduce to you my newest edition. Where is it? It's on this side right here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Ow. Uh, seems so vintage made this for me and gifted it to me. It's all handmade. It is the softest, cutest owl ever. Um, so shout out to her. She is my moderator on whatnot and she is absolutely incredible. Please go follow her. I will link her down below. Seems so vintage. All right. Also, please subscribe if you have not already. But in this video, we are going to talk about bolos that are going to, they're going to knock your socks off. I mean, there is one thing that sold for almost $18,000 and I confirmed it. <laughs> okay. So when I do these category videos, I go in, I dig a little deeper, I check the feedback, I see if the items actually sold. There's some things I do to make sure that these are actually items that sold. So let's get started. We're gonna talk about it and be prepared. But before we get started, tomorrow at what time? 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Flippin' Friends is going on to Whatnot and she is going to be selling vintage Barbie. And I asked her to send me a little clip of her collection that she is bringing. She has enough stuff for probably, I don't know, many, many shows. Hi, flipping friends. We're gonna have a Barbie show. I went and cleaned out storage and I just pulled some stuff. I'm gonna go through it as I come upon it. Not sure what all's in here really, but I think we're gonna have a good time. Got lots of Dawn dolls. I think there's quite a few dolls in the bottom. I'll probably have enough Barbie stuff to have 25 shows with my excess. Got lots of mommy made, clone stuff, some dolls. TNT is my favorite. I love that era. Got lots of Mattel. And of course, Ken. I'm gonna try to work my way through the bottom of this tub over the course of the next month or so. You guys tune in. Thank you. So if you collect Barbies, like Barbies, please go follow her on Whatnot. She is flipping friends. She is also now a moderator of the Facebook group and a great friend. And she knows her Barbie stuff. So go and check her out on Whatnot tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be on before her at, what time am I going on? 10.30, 10.28, I think, doing clothing for, I haven't decided if I'm going to do all three yet. I have so much stuff, but I have Vintage Cabbage Patch. I have My Friend Dolls, which I'm, I think I'm going to research a little bit and maybe do a category video on it because I don't know a lot about it, but I'm going to bring all of those clothes and I have a bunch of Build-A-Bear clothes. So, Check me out in the morning. Also bookmark that show. I will link those links down below. And if you're not already on whatnot, you can use my referral link down below. You're going to get $15 to shop if you use that referral link. If you want to sell on whatnot, there's also a link down below for that. Um, use that after you join and it will say that I referred you to sell. But I want to draw to your attention a couple resources that will help you when you are looking for these items and trying to identify them. All right, so let's go ahead and start with that. So the first person I want to talk to you about is Jody Toy Attic, and she talks about lots of toys on her channel, but one thing she 
does talk a lot about is vintage and newer Barbies. When I say newer, I mean not super, super old, like from the 90s, still vintage, but not just the ones that are really, really old. So here is her YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out. She knows a lot about strawberry shortcake also. You are going to find a lot of great resources on her channel. Now, if you look right here, you can go to Toy Attic, the blog spot. If you click on that, it is going to take you here. And if you look, she has her homepage. She has Strawberry Shortcake, Barbie Identification and Links, Toy ID Resources. All right. These are great, great resources to help you guys identify things. Please use this information if you are looking for how to identify toys and other things. All right. So if you go here, you're going to see that she has links right here. Links, links, links for you guys to help you. I mean, look at all the work she has put into this, you guys. Just absolutely incredible. Toy ID resources. All right. So I know a lot of you are confused or have questions. She's got these links right here for you. So please go check her out on YouTube. Subscribe to her channel. She is awesome. But let's look at some of her Barbie solds. She is a vintage toy addict over on eBay. And here are just some of the items she sold. Now, I have not verified any of these. These are just to show you that they range from bread and butter to big money. Now, we're going to get into some really, really big money bolos towards after this segment. But I I'm telling you, thousands and thousands of dollars that one Barbie can go for. And we're going to talk about that. But I want to show you just that there's a lot of bread and butter also. Stuff from the 80s, the 90s, the 70s, they still sell. So here are some of her solds. She has this superstar Barbie. And then here's some clothes from 1987. A lot of people think that the clothes that are newer or not from the 60s or older, older with the black label tags don't sell. They do sell. And when you can put them in little sets like this, that will help you sell them quicker and possibly for more money. So this is a catalog, a Sears 1995 catalog. I'm not sure if this is just one single page or what. I kind of want to look. Let's see. Is this a catalog? Yeah, it looks like it's got an actual catalog there. Eight pages, eight pages, four pieces of paper. So this is four pieces of paper that she sold for $15. Now that is pretty cool, right? This is a mini catalog. She's got um, an unpunched, unpunched paper doll book. She sells tons and tons of toys. Definitely check her out. This is a newer 1991 career outfit. She took an offer on that. More paper dolls, a pamphlet, and we've got some shoes from the 90s. So you can see she sells lots and lots of bread and butter. Here's the cheerleader megaphone. You guys can buy these in small lots and big lots, and you can part these out. All right. So there you go. Now, the next gal I want to talk to you about is my reseller treasure. And she is so close to 2,000 subscribers. And I think Jody Toy Attic, she's almost at 5,000. So let's help. Jody Toy Attic get to 5,000 and my reseller treasure get to 2,000. Can you guys do that for me? I'm going to link them down below. They are fantastic. Now you want to talk about Barbies. This gal, Barbie, 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 her videos, her what sold videos. She has, um, let me go into here for you. All of these videos. I think she has one on how to like freshen up their hair so tutorials and different things like that, but specializes also in dolls and Barbie. So be sure to check out her channel, How I Clean Barbie Dolls. You guys, watch this. There's specific ways to do things so that you don't mess them up, all right? And she's going to tell you about it. She is incredible. 
how to reattach a Barbie doll head. These are things that you need to know if you want to sell Barbies. So give her a follow. Here is some of her eBay solds. And again, I have not verified if any of these sold, but I'm just going to take you through some of her Barbie sold items. She sold this dream house. Oh my goodness. I don't know how she shipped it. I don't know if it was local pickup, but ah, crazy. Uh, all right. So 1981, the pink box. This is a Chrissy doll. And yes, they are definitely a bolo. Look at this missing a leg. And it's got the outfit. So she knows how to put things together and sell them in bundles so that she can maximize her profits. She just knows Barbie stuff. And if you study it and learn it, you can do this too. Now, do I know this stuff? Absolutely not. Here's a twist and turn Christy doll with the outfit. Um, it is important to show the condition of the actual doll because collectors are going to be looking at that. So just to give you an idea, here's a Francie doll. Here are the squishy shoes. Now, squishy means that they're not the hard plastic. So she can tell you probably more about that on her channel. But um, pregnant midge. Here's another uh, golden dream Barbie, a pink box. I had this Barbie as a kid right here. Peaches and cream. I remember this when I had this dress on the doll. And look at that. It's now a bolo. How cool is that? So I just want to showcase some of her amazing sales, but I am going to keep going here because she has a wide variety of listings and how she showcases them is just incredible. Uh, she puts these sets together and she sells it. She sells it. So check it out. There's one without a head. This is a long sleeve top. I don't know what offer she took, but check that out. And she just knows, knows what she's doing. Here's an arm, a head, and a dress. <laughs> I mean, she knows they go together, obviously. I would not know that, but she knows. And you can see we're going from highest to lowest. So lots of variation in prices. Look at this one. Look at her setup. That is so cool. And this one is probably, yes, a black tag label. It's the American Airlines Stortus. A lot of those have a number that are associated with them. If you can find that number, put that in your title. That's going to help you sell your item. Look at all of these amazing listings. He's missing an arm. Here's a pair of boots. They are squishy boots. A hat and some gloves. Just incredible. Just incredible. And you're going to see as we get lower, they're going to go more into bread and butter. But one pair of shoes. One pair of shoes. But I'm going to tell you, she knew that they went to Francie. All right. That would be important information to put in your title. Lots and lots of good stuff. Is that a knife? <laughs> a hat and a knife. There you go. $31.33. That is awesome. What is this? Um, it's a cape. It's a cape. Accessories. Furniture. She sells it all and she is super knowledgeable. So again, Jody Toy Attic and Brandy at My Reseller Treasure, fantastic resources to learn about Barbie. Now, are you guys ready to see some craziness? Oh my goodness. Here's a stand. This stand sold for $19.95. I'm going to show you one that sold for over a thousand. Just wait. Just wait for it. And again, we're going into some more bread and butter. This one's from the 80s, but still, you know, $17.69 plus shipping for one swimsuit from 1981. Just incredible. Just incredible. This one has a little bit of discoloration and still sold. Hangers, hangers. Oh, little Walkman, cassette players. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the bread and butter. Replacement part for the boutique shop. 
So there you go. Check them out. These ladies are amazing. Again, they will be linked down below. All right, let's get into some crazy big money Barbies. This is a Mattel Barbie number 0934, Japanese exclusive, $621.11. You can see right here, it has the black tag label. If you see this label, try to identify it, guys. Try to identify it. 17 bids on this and feedback was left. So that means it was a good sale. Uh, delivered, buyer was happy, feedback left. The next item, I could not verify this one, but what I did do is I went into the seller's store to see if they had relisted the item. So as a reseller, I know that if an item doesn't sell, what do I do? I relist it. It was not relisted. Another thing you can do is you can look at the winning bidders feedback. They they have over 2000 feedback. This item more than likely was paid for. So let's go back in and I kind of want to look at the photos because I've never really seen anything like this. I would not have known that this actually was a Barbie item. But here you go. Did you guys know about this? Would you have picked it up or walked past it? It is number 1063, so it is a legit Barbie Hot Togs from 1972 dog. Here is a 1965 Barbie and Midge Poodle Parade in the original packaging. Look at that. How cute. Sold for $760. And there's your feedback. This is a box only. Just the box. And it even has writing on it. So it's not perfect. $910 this sold for. And there is your feedback. The next item is this Ken plane. It says Irwin Mattel 1964. I actually saw another one that was, I think the same as this one that sold for big money also. So definitely a Bolo. $999.95 on auction. Only one bid, but that's all you need. And there's your feedback. Here is another one. Barbie doll. Holes in feet. No head. She has no head. Show her patent pending on her behind. That's going to help the collector. Show body parts, the hands, anything that could have damage. You can see made in Japan. And it has the holes in the feet. People are looking for the holes in the feet. So there you have it. Another thing that is really important that I learned is a lot of times their legs click into three positions and it people will ask you, if you don't put that information in the listing, they will ask you, do the legs hold in each position? So if you can check that and include that in your description, that is also important. And there you go, five-star feedback. The next item is this Barbie clothes. Now this has multiple sets. You can see they've all got the black tag label. This is a nice, nice set of Barbie clothes that they have put into one listing, $1,570 and feedback was left. The next item, a Barbie stand. Yes, this is a Barbie stand. $1,753. Is that a chip? I think that might be a chip on the bottom. And feedback confirmed and left. Now, this is one of the other sellers that I found that has sold a lot of high dollar Barbie stuff. I'm just going to take you through some of their listings because they've got some exclusive Barbie outfits. And I just want to show you kind of what some of these can go for. Condition is very, very important, but this seller does a really good job and has a lot of unique, different items. Here's a pink box. I did not confirm any of these, so I don't know for sure if these actually got paid for, but just to give you an idea of some of the different things to look for, look at these eyeglasses. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow. The hard part is identifying them and figuring it out. But here's a headband. Are you kidding? 
Oh my goodness. Just incredible. So you can find Barbie sellers and in, go into their uh, solds like this and just kind of see what they're selling. And it's going to give you a good idea of different things to be on the look for, look out for. X-Files. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Barbie Basics. That's a Target exclusive. Again, I haven't verified these, so you'll have to, you know, do your own research on some of the ones that, like this one right here, I was going to say it might be the same listing, but they've got a different background. So I think she just had two. Page Boy. I don't know who that is. So there you go. Uh, Francie Doll. Is this a hat? Pretty incredible, right? So just wait. I've got one that sold for almost $18,000. All right, let's take a peek at the next one. Now, this person decided to sell all of this for one money. Are you ready? Here's their main photo. They sold all of this, all of it. And you don't really know what you're getting. So it's kind of a mystery. I mean, you can kind of see, but $2,113 this sold for. Like how on earth did this person get so many of the same items? And the condition looks to be pretty good. So there you have it. This person decided to take the shortcut and sell it all to one buyer who is probably going to part it out and make a ton of money. All right. And feedback was left. The next item is this 1965 Barbie Hostess set. Rare, hard to find. Check it out. Look at all these little goodies. Wow. Look at the toast. Oh, it is so cute. I don't know if it's $2,800 cute, but it's definitely cute. And feedback was left. The next item, um, again, I'm just going to show you some more high dollar solds. I did not verify these, but I want you to get an idea of how people are listing things. This is from this gal's store that has this. And you can see she has sold a lot of high dollar Barbies and definitely specializes and knows this category. So very, very important. Just wow. Just wow. And you can see how she displays things. She does a great job. Definitely a lot of bolos here to be on the lookout for. There's a, a pink uh, pink one, so that's maybe not quite as old. I'm not sure. Oh, there's Cher. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow. What do you guys think? Are you, like, floored right now? This is a rare 1950s vintage German B-I-L-D build Lily doll Barbie's inspiration. $2,850 for this one. And right here, feedback left. Here is another one, $3,000, feedback left. And this one says, Barbie needs restringing, needs restringing and still sold for $3,000. Let's see if it, oh, there's her head. There's her legs. So are the legs not even attached? Am I understanding this correctly? The legs need reattached. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Here is a vintage Barbie Japanese exclusive side part American girl outdoor casual outfit. So I don't know if it's just the outfit or if you get the doll also. Sometimes that's a little bit confusing. $3,480 and feedback was left. The next item, original antique vintage, number two blonde ponytail Barbie with the zebra swimsuit. This is one that you always want to be on the lookout for. Now, they do have paint on their eyelids, so you do want to do a close-up of the face because collectors want to see what that looks like. Lots and lots of photos on Barbies, guys. The collectors are going to want to see everything, everything. $5,600 feedback left. Here's another one. This is a number one Barbie from 1959. 12 bids, 
$8,100. Check her out. There she is. Looks like it comes with some extra outfits. So that is helpful in bringing up the price. And it comes with a stand. And feedback confirmed. $17,899. First, I want to show you, yes, feedback was left. Now, let's take a look at this listing. Almost $18 thousand dollars 400 to ship it but you're getting all of these check it out all of them what an amazing lot wow 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 would you guys have paid eighteen thousand dollars for this look at all of the accessories and the clothes Okay, Barbie collectors out there, let me know. Would you have bought this? And the funny thing is, is I just saw the first photo. I didn't realize all this extra came with it. So as a reseller, tell me, would you have included everything in the first photo? Because I thought that they just got this stuff. But look at everything that came in this lot. I mean, this could be a gold mine for a reseller if you know what you're doing and how to part everything out. Absolutely crazy. So you Barbie collectors, I want to hear what you think about this listing in the comments. But again, it was paid for. And be sure to check out Jody Toy Attic and My Reseller Treasure for more information on specializing in these categories. These ladies are super smart. They are resellers and they are going to help you on your journey. Now, with that being said, all right, you guys, I hope you learned something here. Absolutely crazy what these Barbie items are going for. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.